The following is based on the true story of Tammy Maida. My name is Ralph Mader. Keo, you gotta come back. It's not two steps. I'm moving my family down from Prince George, Canada. I'd like to find out about tryouts for your team. Well, that's great. We can always use new blood. George, keep an eye on things, will you? We'll be right back. All right. Come on this way. Come on, guys. All right, Blaylock, let's work some fast. Now? Now. Let's go. So what brings you to Minville? I'm finishing my doctorate in psychology at Oregon State. We're only here for the school term. OK, here you go. Uh, we practice Monday through Friday, noon to 3 till school starts. Okay. I can work in a tryout any time. Good. I'll have her bring these back on Monday, OK? Sure. I'll need a doctor's certificate, too, but there's no rush. We won't start scrimmaging before. Uh... You just said her. Yeah, it's my daughter, Tammy. Your daughter, Tammy, wants to be a football player. Mm -hmm. Well, golly, I uh, sure would like to have Tammy on my team. But the uh, school board would never go for it. It's my tough luck. Are you saying we have to go to the school board first? Tell me something. Why in hell would you want to push your daughter into a man's sport like football? Don't you have any sons at all? No. And if I did, I wouldn't push them into playing football either. But if that's what they wanted to do, I'd try to give them the opportunity to do it. It's what Tammy wants. So when is this school board meeting? It's uh, a week from Friday. Good. We'll be there. Any other questions? Just one. What position does Tammy play? Quarterback. That's perfect. <laughs> has to vote on whether you even get a chance to try out. If they approve, then you get to bump heads with the rest of the team and show them what you can do. But I don't think the coach is going to be on your side. Still want to go through with it? Yeah. OK. We're with you all the way. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Let's, bring her. Her. Can you bring her? Let's gather them up and move them out.
regular city. Is there a movie? I don't know. That's what I'd like. Movie? I'd like to go to the movies. <laughs> Pizza! Mm -hmm. All right! Oh, Grizzly Country. Mike! Look at all those football players. They look big. Are you scared? No. Dad, can you stop? I gotta go. Me too. Hunter from Canada with a girl quarterback? Oh, yes. How did you know? Are you kidding? It's all over. It's radio, television. <laughs> About how this girl wants to play for the Grizzlies. Damn silliest thing I ever heard. Uh, was one of those her? Yeah. Yeah? I thought she'd be a real big one. Uh, I mean, well, none of those girls look, well, you know, tough. <laughs> Couple of them will fool you. So big. Look at that house. Look at the hotel. Come on, shots. Huge. Huge. I can't wait to get in. It's gonna be so neat. Look at this. Huge. Look at all that stuff in there. Daddy never said it came with. There's no key. Is the back door open? No. I'm going to go back to that Dairy Queen on the corner and call Mr. Hobart. Mom, it's so big. What's wrong? Uh, Hobart has gone away for a few days. His wife doesn't know anything about the house. What? She wasn't very friendly. Do. Go to a motel? Not on our budget. Why don't we just camp out in the yard until he gets back? Hey, no, 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 Ralph. We cannot camp out in the middle of the Why town. Why not? It'd be just like backpacking on Fox Creek without the creek. Yeah. yeah. Come, on. Come on, let's get the tent, huh? Right. What do you think you're doing? You can't just pitch a tent in somebody else's yard. Actually, we rented it, but the landlord forgot it. Oh. You're the Canadians with a girl footballer. Well, where is she? Hello. Mr. Klosterman and I were talking. It isn't natural. And neither are tents, and Lord knows what else. Cornelia, come. Oh, thanks, honey. Ralph, that was the strangest woman. Really? You ought to meet Mr. Penzer. <laughs> there he is now. Hi, Mr. Penzer. <laughs> Mr. Penzer knows all about Danny. So did she. And I'm bewildered. Same. <laughs> but. I found Lorenzo. Oh, Lorenzo, my sneaker! Lorenzo, eat my sneaker! Don't worry, Jody, we'll get you another pair. Those were my best sneakers. They were your only sneakers, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Dad, do you think it's so terrible that I want to play football? No, of course not. If that's what you want, you can do it, why not? And we're right behind you. Right. can't conduct business with everyone talking at once. Mr. Kane, I believe you wish to say something in opposition to the matter before the board. Damn right I do. I oppose any girl playing football. It is an insult to the game. 
besides that, this is grizzly country. Yeah. We have a tradition here, don't we? You bet you can. Why don't we let her be a cheerleader? There you go. Give her a doll to play with. You all know my boy, BJ, right? He is going to have a great senior year this year at center. Now, what the hell chance is he going to have for a scholarship if he is snapping the ball to some girl reaching down there between his legs? <laughs> Mrs. Upchurch. There has been a suggestion from the floor uh, to make Miss Maida a cheerleader. Oh. <laughs> now, Tammy, my daughter, Tiffany, is a cheerleader. I just know she'd be happy to help bend the rules a little in your case. Wouldn't you like that, Tiffany? Yeah. Yeah. No, ma'am, I wouldn't. Oh. What? Oh. I don't want to cheer, I want to play. Oh, oh that's God. ridiculous. I'm sorry that upsets everybody, but this is probably the only chance I'm gonna have to at least try. I don't know, maybe I'm not good enough to make the team, but I sure would like to have a shot at it. The bottom line is, the Oregon State Athletic Association says there's a federal regulation, Title IX, which requires equal athletic opportunities for boys and girls. Which means, which means, if we don't have a girls football team, we have to let her try out for the Grizzlies. That's the law. Some law. Jamesworth, this is my daughter, Tammy. Hi. Find a spot. Grass drills, Larry. Fan out, guys. All right, you heard the man. Jump! the offense and lean on her a little. All right, Grizzly offense on the field. Marvin, Demi, Roger, alternated quarterback. Are you, Chuck, and Dennis, our wide receivers? That's 20-yard crossing patterns, huh? You know how quarterbacks take a snap in Canada? Blue! 
Throw the ball like that. My mom. All right, gather up. We're gonna have contact drills tomorrow, so check out your equipment. All right. Uh, you too, Maida. You can uh, get into pants and t-shirt in the girls' locker room, then uh, come pad up with the team. Final cuts on Friday. That's it, hit the showers. Oh. Hey, guys. You made it. No, wait, I didn't make it. No, wait, the final like cuts on Friday. Oh, Friday? Yeah. Just look what she did. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Howdy. Mr. Hobart, nice to see you. What are you people doing back there in the tent? <laughs> you didn't leave the key. I forgot. You didn't say one word. About what? About having a daughter wants to play football. Well, I don't remember reading anything that said I had to list all my daughter's extracurricular activities. Why? What do the others do? <laughs> Nothing unusual. Well, doesn't seem a fit activity for a girl. It's different, if you catch my meaning. Tammy. I'd like you to meet our new landlord. Mr. Hobart, my daughter Tammy. Hi. She's not big enough to play football. Pat Hayden was only 5'10". Well, you're her father, and maybe it's none of my business. But do you think it's proper for a nice little girl like this to... Well, I wouldn't want my daughter to be a grizzly. Mr. Hobart, we appreciate your advice. Now, if we could have the key, we'd like to move inside. All right. Rent's due first of the month. I know. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Hobart. <laughs> okay, gang, let's break camp. Come on, come on. I didn't get caught. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Moving in now, Mr. Penzer. Look, nobody wants the girl to make the team. That's right. That's right. So what is the problem? Off the record, she's got a good arm. Speed, reactions, good instincts. Ainsworth, you are a young man, and this is your first big job, so we're going to pretend that you didn't even say that. That's right. Now, I have seen her, and I don't care if she spits bullets. She is still a female, and females are different. Right. You can't depend on them. They are weaker. They are injury prone. Now, why even discuss Look, it? Mr. Kane, you don't have to tell me. I am telling you, Wainsworth, we want a winning season this year. So you just use your best judgment. We could have You're a winning right. team if we were a male team. Right a male You're team. damn right.
Hey, Maida, welcome to Grizzly Country. Yeah. 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 Guys, it's uh, Tammy Maida and her super bra. <laughs> <laughs> Made up, run a couple of plays in there. It's a simple handoff, nothing fancy. Let's go! Uh, I want to see a uh, 23. 23. Okay, on one. Set. Hut! All right. All right, what's the matter, defense, huh? You're playing like you should be wearing dresses. Come on, let's go. Okay, coach. It's all right. Play it tough. All right, this time let's do 25, all right? On one. Set. Hut. I'm sorry, okay? I'm fine. Damn it, Brian, don't you apologize to her. Now, this isn't a dancing class. Yet. All right, let's go again. Go, guys. Go, guys. Go, guys. Go, guys. Go, guys. Go, same thing, all right? Same thing. On one. Watch your cap. Watch the deep right. Set. Hut. Back off. All right, back off. All right, save it for the game, Crixby. Tell me, play football okay, with me. Okay, I will. I'll play a little bit later, okay? You promise now. In a while. I'll get it. Get your move. Hello? Yes. It's for you. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, um, thank you. I made it. Yes? What? Just a minute. Miss Gordon wants to know how you feel about making the cheese. Here, you Maida, Stuart from the Morning Herald. I'd like to talk to your daughter about this whole football thing. Come on in. Uh, no, I'm, I'm Jean. No, no, that's Tammy. That's Tammy. They don't really know yet. <laughs> I'm looking for Tammy Maida. Maida. Uh, is that her? Excuse me, please. She's very happy to be on the team. That's right, Ken. I'm here to finish my doctorate at Oregon State. Jody, Tommy, hurry up. You'll be late. Breakfast well. Okay, Save okay. Five. No, okay. Come on, girls. Let's eat. <laughs> I think so. No. <laughs> Moose and bear. Yes, I'll, I'll tell you. Thank you very much for calling. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Yes, she's very happy to be on the team. Ah, uh, go change your blouse. I don't think so. I want to wear this one. You can't wear a buttered blouse to school. The tracks fly. I don't care. Gidget. No, no, she can't. She has practice every afternoon. No, at evening time she has to do a homework. Yes, I will. I appreciate you calling. Thank you. Goodbye. You're still calling? <laughs> it never stops. Yeah. Back in the box. Leave us alone. I mean, it's nobody's business what my measurements are, if I have a boyfriend. What am I supposed to say to them? <laughs> what does ha mean? You just think you're just hot stuff because everyone's been making such a deal about you. I do like, not. I hate it. Bull! What do you mean, bull? You never even say anything about Bill after you get your Stop it now. There's no room for bickering in this house. Do you understand? Dad, I was not bickering. Why now, do you wait a minute. Now, now all quiet. this attention is like a puff of smoke. It's going to blow away before you know it. But before it does, we're all going to be affected by it in one way or another. The important thing is we all have to stick together. We're a family. 
right? Right. 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 Okay. Let's see. Gidget! Coming, Mommy! Gidget! Come on! Hurry! Okay. I spent the night at Perry's. <laughs> it's really wild. Oh. John Elliott. Here. Darlene Fox. Here. Carolyn Hobbs. Here. Deanna Lyons. Here. Janelle Lee. Here. Tammy Maida. Here. Well, we are honored to have the lady athlete in our classroom. Thank you. Dale Petrie. Dale Petrie. Here. Thank you. Ken Richards. Hey. Hey. You're new here, right? Yeah. How come you haven't been in to see me? I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm Scott Massey. I'm a school orientation officer. They didn't tell you about me, right? They? No, I'm sorry. See, I'm, uh, I'm responsible for making sure uh, new students are familiarized with the school. Like, for instance, do you... Uh, you know where the library is? Lunch room? Jim, the principal's office? No. That stuff? See, that's what I'm here for. Help you out. Like, if you got a question or uh, you want to go to a movie or something. Damn, we met Scott already, huh? Figures. I can't believe a word he says. <laughs> Damn. Why do I know that name, huh? Tammy Maida. Come on, Tammy Maida, our new quarterback. What, the female football player? No, you're not. I mean, she's got to be... You are? <laughs> Come on, what is this, a joke, huh? Nope. She really is. Yeah. You really are. <laughs> oh, um, it, was, it was a nice meeting. I'll see you later. She really is? Yeah. Mrs. Maida, might we have a word with you? Woman to woman. Sure. We're, um, concerned mothers. And we want you to reconsider. Reconsider what? Allowing your daughter to play with the Grizzlies. Why? It's improper. It, it's not decent. Why? Girls belong with other girls. She's disrupting the whole school. The board approved a tryout, and the coach accepted her on the team. How can that be wrong? We don't want women's live in Menville. We raise our daughters to be ladies. Wait a minute. You know, you're amazing. You really are. My daughter wants to play a game. If the law gives her the right, and God gave her the ability, who are you to say that she can't? You don't understand oh, no, what we're trying, trying to say to you. To to you. Never mind. Never mind. Get back to me when you've elected a spokesperson. here, okay? Sometimes it's not easy. What do you mean? Just don't give me a hard time, all right? What, are you threatening me? <laughs> Just lay off. Yeah. 
And why the school hasn't installed artificial turf? Because the cheerleaders need a place to graze. Excited to. So I wish I had your nerve. You do? Yeah. Hey, Tammy, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Uh, Chuck, BJ, this is Carolyn. Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, hey, Jay, this out. Ready for practice? Yeah. All right, let's see you there. Okay. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I would die if I had to practice with them every day. The first time I had my tryout, mm -hmm. they're all in lines doing calisthenics, mm -hmm. right? I don't think anyone knew I was going to be there. I walk up, and suddenly, everybody's. Stops. They'll stare at you. All of them. Oh. Like, stop. I very slowly walk through the crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for the ride. Sure, but don't tell my father. Okay. <laughs> Is it true they named the team Grizzlies after him? <laughs> yeah. Pop's pretty intense most of the time. Nobody's ever good enough to please him, including me. Well, especially me. You're all state center. He wanted me to be all-state quarterback. Mm. And team captain. Student body president, most popular, most representative, most handsome. I decided to concentrate on most handsome. So don't let him get to you. Him or anybody around here. Just keep on keeping on. OK? OK. Thanks. Sure. See you tomorrow. See you. Are you going to start the girl quarterback? No. How's she been looking in practice? The whole team is looking real well. I'm looking forward to a run I'm talking specifically game. about Tammy Maida. I'm not. Slot right. Pick it up. Three or 
Get in there. And now, now coming into the game at hey. quarterback is number 10, Tammy Maida. Red, 23 dive on one. Centers, ready? Go, come on, Red. Come on, baby. Move that ball. Okay. Red, 37 blast on one. Centers on one. Ready? Blitz! How about a kiss from your quarterback? Right. Throw me a pass, up. honey. Beat it. Green! 19! Check! Shift to shotgun on three. Centers on three. Ready? Here we go. This is going to be fun. Go I'm going to blitz you, baby. No problem. Seconds 
left in the game. Grizzly six, Vikings six. Point after is good. The Grizzlies lead seven to six. Yeah, I knew she could make it. We've been working on it in practice. She's got good timing. Yeah. 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 Confidence in the huddle. Were people skeptical that she could do the job? No, no, not at all, huh? We, no, no. no. Good. Hey, hey BG, guys, what about guys. you've been supporting her all along. You think that if she's yeah. finally uh, proven Woo. herself now? Oh, she's proven herself. She proved herself the first day. She's the best. That's it. She's the best. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Yeah. On the bench, you were probably uh, not thinking you'd probably actually get into the football game. You did, and you won. It's got to be a great game. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. I was real excited. I was a little nervous, though. What was your feeling when you got put into the ball game? Were you concerned? Were you nervous? Uh, please don't let me fumble. That's the first thing I did. Come on. Hey, Canada. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I watched the game. Yeah, so did I, most of it. No, you were... You were fantastic, I mean, when you got in. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic, but you thank are, you. You were, really. I've never seen a girl play as good as you did. Actually, I've never seen a girl play at all, but you were really good. Thanks. I'm in athletics, too. Yeah? Yeah. So are you doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. Because uh, I was I was thinking maybe you'd, you'd maybe want to go out with me. Like, I don't know, if you didn't have any other plans or anything. No, I, I don't. That would be nice. Really? Yeah. Great. I guess uh, maybe I'll pick you up around noon. Okay. Dress casual. Okay. Later. Bye. It's over here, not far. Woo! Great, huh? Yeah. That's where I work at. For what? You play football, I do logging. You know, lumberjack events. Tree climbing, sawing, log rolling, that kind of stuff. There's a there's a tournament next month. I'm defending regional all-around champ. Congratulations. Here, put these on. You're gonna love this. One hand after the other, all right. Come on. All right, you got it. One more. There you go. All right, good work. Let's go. Uh, I, um... This is the best one. After I get across, I'll swing it back to you, all right? Ready? Woo. Got it? Okay, now just bail off the rope. Here you go. Come on. 
Taught him, that's all. You take all your dates out here to show him a good time? No. Most girls would probably hate this. I hate this. <sighs> I just thought, because you were in athletics and stuff, you'd like to go out and I do thought something. this was a date, not an athletic competition. I get enough of that in football. See? I mean, how am I supposed to know what you like? You're so different from other that, girls. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I sure get treated that way by everybody. The coach treats me different because I'm not a boy. You treat me different because I play football, right? Right, and they treat me different because they don't know what I am. Well, here's the news. I'm a girl. Have you got that? I'm a girl. I am. That was no win. It wasn't a win. That was a gift from the other team. For crying out loud, keep her on the bench. You know, I hate to say this, but she's as good as Keo. And she's better than Blaylock. It's impossible. Look, you're the coach. Coach him. Hey, Carolyn, I got my brother's car tonight. We're gonna go out to Alf's. Wanna come? Sure. Fabulous. Hey, I bet you'll like it. Uh, can she come with us? Yeah. Whatever. That's all right, thanks. Uh, come on. It'll be a kick. Okay. Great. Uh, we'll do it. <laughs> See you tonight. Bye. You're right. Maybe it's a good idea for me to do with some girls for a change. What is else? Eats me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking training. Trying. I know. Hi. How'd you in the biology quiz? Oh, bummer. I should have studied. I'll help you study anytime. I'm great in biology. I bet. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> you lose. Great in biology. Oh, shut up. I oh, bet I'm better than all of us. Where were you guys last weekend? Rick's party? Yeah. Oh, Rick's. Were you guys there? I was at the Yeah, I was there. That was Rick's. What time were you? We got there about 11.30. Yeah. Hey there. Hi. Having a good time? No. No. I figured you'd be with Scott. Hey, Tammy, listen up. We just been working on a new play for you. Man. Set up in the arm formation. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, watch the wax job, monkey. What okay. wax job? Come on. Hey, this is gonna blow you away. Check it out. Okay. You're back here. I formation. Tight end in. Tight. Real tight. I'm out over wide. All right. Drop back. Tight end slants right across the middle. Right there. It's perfect. It's our play. Six. Right there. And then are we gonna set up? It's right there. <laughs> Seven yards. Slant Come on, right there. You know this or not, huh? We're in there. Touchdown. Six. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? That's it? good work. Yeah. Yay! Hello, Bedford Falls! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, George! Merry Christmas, movie house! Merry Christmas, Emporium! Merry Christmas, you wonderful Wait enough. building alone! Oh, I just got involved in this movie. I get choked up every time I see it. Whatever it is that 
It's making your face look like a foot. Everybody acts like I'm from Mars. Except the guys in the team, and they all act like I'm just another guy on the team. Well, aren't you? Yeah. I just don't know where I fit in. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> you're not weird, you're just growing up. Are you happy? I mean, being a woman, being married, having all of us? You know I'm happy. I did want to be a singer. But then I met your father and suddenly it wasn't important anymore. Of course, there wasn't any real choice then. I mean, a woman was expected to marry a man and start having babies and raise a family and live happily ever after. But I'm glad I made that choice. And yeah, I'm happy. You know, you can do anything. You can have everything. You can even play football if you want. The trouble is that attitudes just haven't kept up with the opportunities. And some people think a girl grizzly makes their team a joke. And they're frightened. Because to them, you represent a world they just don't understand. It's a heavy load to lay on someone. Well, it's not the end of the world. You can always quit. I don't want to quit. Oh, Tammy. Come here. Oh. I love you. All right, that wasn't a win, Friday. That was a gift. I've seen harder hitting in supermarkets by little old ladies with shopping carts. Grigsby, Blaylock, what's so funny? You guys couldn't hit anybody unless they bumped into you first. All right, give me two laps. I'll try to finish by dark. The rest of you guys get back to your drills. All right. Your pants, Brian! Our linemen, linebackers, to the sleds. Ends, centers, backs, over here. Made up. Let's talk. The coach is starting Keo again. But stay alive. I'm getting you in as early as possible. We're gonna start working Roger at halfback. Um, meaning what? You take game pressure better. <laughs> How we doing, Mr. Penzer? Oh, <laughs> being attacked by midgets. Play hey, around your lair. Get off of me. Do some work. Mr. Penzer says Stay we're around. building the garden spot of America. Uh, <laughs> leave Mr. Penzer alone and help me with this ladder, would you? Okay. That's your service, madam. Man, I never catch my mother climbing around a ladder like that. <laughs> Ever notice how most parents seem older than they should? Yours seem younger. Yeah, I guess they're not exactly typical, are they? Hey, slaves, no work, no lunch. He's worse than the coach. Listen, if you guys don't want to hang around, it's fine, really. Hey, no way do we let that grizzly soon-to-be starting QB mess with manual labor. Hey, man, you could bust a fingernail or something. There goes Magic Hands and Maida for the rest of the season. And I'd have to play. Here, don't hurt yourself. All right. I need it. Oh! I did it on purpose. No, I really didn't. Just go ahead and laugh! Because everyone at school's been laughing at you ever since we got here. You think you're so great at parading around because you're better than us? Just because you're on TV, I don't care. I don't want to be on TV. I don't want to be your sister. Dio's 
tackle. Second and eight. Come on, play ball. Come on, play some football. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, take over, man. Come on, now. Number 10, Tammy Maida, replacing Peel, quarterback. Oh, Tammy, I told Ainsworth a girl cannot play football. On red, 38 counter on one. Centers on one. Ready? Hey, little girl. You're gonna get cream. We're gonna blitz you, baby. Block! Nine two! Set! Hut! Go try it! Beta, going for a loss. Third and eleven. Okay. Not a girl. All right, let's go. Huddle it up. Huddle it up. All right, Chris, let's go. They're sending everybody out. Yeah, no kidding. All right, we're going to concede the rush and fake him with a sucker play. All right, let's. What sucker play? That's our play. That's the one we drew on my car. I, I wasn't there. What am I doing? Check him on. Seven yard curl. All right. You got it? Yeah. All right. Lemon Eye, pass to the tight end on one. Centers on one. Ready? Go on left. Four dive park, and one. Park. Okay, listen up. We're changing it. We're changing it. Red 28 blast, wing back in motion on three. Centers. Roger, go for it all. Ready? Park. Park. Trying to start here from now on. How are you? Oh, I hope not. My old man wants me to get a varsity letter. I don't care if I never get in the game. Stay healthy, you know? I know. Oh, did you hear what Scott did after the game? No, what? He picked a fight with that linebacker who took all those late hits on you. What? Guess you got a bodyguard, huh? Is he here? Yeah, he's over there. Um, Scott? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, okay. In private? All right. Who asked you to fight my battles? What? Don't give me what. You got that eye from that guy who kept decking me. You made me mad. So what? Listen, I don't need you sticking up for me, all right? If I can't take my hits out there like everybody else, I shouldn't be out there. No, but you're a girl. Isn't that what you said? Yes, but not when I'm playing. Oh, what are you then? What do you mean, what am I? Look, maybe putting on all those, all those pads makes you forget that you're a girl. But I know what's underneath. Look, when I'm playing, I'm... when I'm not playing, I'm, I'm a girl, yes. But when I'm playing, I'm not a male exactly, but I'm not, not, not a girl either. That doesn't mean that. No. Football d doesn't. Kind of confusing, huh? Yeah. You want to try and work it out after the game next week?
Good game. Thanks. I didn't mean some of those things that I said the other day. Okay. Jody and Heidi, they're crazy about their sister. It's only you. Like I don't even exist or something. I never meant for any of this to happen. You know that. But you're right. I've only been thinking about myself lately, and I'm sorry, too. Are we sisters again? I'm just a joke at school. <sighs> Tiffany Upchurch is a dip. You're right. <laughs> Guess what? I'm going out after the next game with Scott Massey. Are you kidding? That's great. But this time you have to do it right, OK? OK. What are you going to wear? I don't know. You have any ideas? My beige sweater. Uh, it's too small. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You may call it football. I don't call it football. 10-7. That's a legitimate win, Mr. King. 10-7. I wouldn't call it decisive. Show them we're Grizzlies. Red, 184 sprint on one. Centers, on one. Ready? Drive! Woo! Did you see that? Super Jack, you know, and then punching that guy out last week. It was stupid. That's okay. I just wasn't prepared for you. I mean, all this. Listen, you and the rest of this town. Oh. No, I'm not like them. It's just, ah, I figured a girl wants to play football, go for it, right? But uh, I also figured she'd probably be six foot three with tattoos or something, you know? And you show up. You changed your mind? No, not exactly. Never dated a quarterback before. <laughs> hey, it's different when it gets personal. See, first I, <clears throat> I was afraid you'd think I was a wimp, you know, because I, because I'm not on the team. And then I was afraid. <laughs> I was afraid what the other guys would say if, if I took you out, you know, in public. Listen, if you don't want to be seen with no, me, Tammy, it's... it's okay. I worked it out. I... I realize I'm gonna get a lot of ribbon and stuff, but that's okay. I can take it. I'm a big guy. Well, I'm real proud of you, Scott. I'm proud of you, too.
covering the story of Minville's unique young quarterback. Pat Helberg followed up on the story. Talking about oh! Oh! How does Tammy feel about playing for the Grizzlies? Terrific. I understand you're a psychologist and a moose hunter? No, no, I'm a moose psychologist. <laughs> I treat psychologically disturbed moose, many of whom become very depressed during the hunting season. <laughs> right. Um, Mrs. Maida, do you have a... Are, are you afraid at all about Tammy getting hurt out there? No, she's too good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You're cute. What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, so how about it? Well, it's our only overnight trip. It's only one night. I want to stay with the team. Will they give you your own room? No, but I'll be with the then team. Then I have to take you. Mom, to the team, I'm just another one of the guys. <laughs> no, seriously. Besides, there's going to be four to a room, so that means I'll be sleeping with three guys. I'm going to go study before I have a heart attack. Come on, what could happen in the room with three boys? You want to take that, Doctor? <laughs> no way. You are so antediluvian. Tammy, there's got to be a limit to your intimacy with the team. Now, either I take you and we stay in a room together, or you stay here. We can't afford that. We'll scrimp. The doctor said it's a bad sprain. I have to go on the first play, but I got right up, Dan. I never cried. The Wolverines beat us 38 to 7. Honey. Hey. How'd you know you have a right to cry? <laughs> you don't always have to be the toughest kid on the block. Good, because I'm not. This year, we have the same events as last year. We have choker setting, we have axe throw, log rolling, and tree climbing. High school loggers will be competing against one another on head-to-head -head competition. This year, we have a fine match between Scott Massey and Donnie Montgomery for the all-around. And today's going to decide who will be the all-around champion. Okay, come charging and holding me up. Sorry, I thought you were first. Ladies and gentlemen, tree climbing winner, 
and the new all-around champion, Donnie Montgomery. Oh, I'm bad enough I'd lose. Gotta get carried off the field by our lady quarterback. I didn't carry you. Besides, I thought we'd been through all of yeah, this. Yeah, we have. It just rubbed me the wrong way for a second, okay? What, that I'm a lady or that I'm a quarterback? I wouldn't mind either if you weren't both. Well, I am. At least for one more game, and if that bothers you, then I'm real sorry. Hey, Canada. Come on. Oh, damn. I'd make a great homecoming princess. I'm perfect. <laughs> I can't believe this. You gotta vote for me. <laughs> I think I'm the best dear what happened between me and Scott? Nothing. Look at Tiffany Upchurch. I've never seen anyone campaign so hard for homecoming. Listen, I'll see you later, okay? We gotta go. Okay, see ya. I told you, a female couldn't hold up. You've been on my back all season. We are six and one and in the championship. Now, is there anything wrong with that? Yeah, but now you've got a hole at quarterback. Now we're going to see what kind of a coach you are. All right, Friday's it. It's the last game. We do not want to end the season with two losses, right? Right! We do not want to lose. Right! Okay, so what are we going to do about it? Win! What are we going to do? Win! I can't hear you guys. Win! That's right. So no last week let up. I want 110% from every one of you on every play at every practice. You got it? Yeah! All right, hit it! Oh! All right, offense, defense, down here. Let's go. Easy on that ankle, Mato. <laughs> OK, we're going to work some diving plays, huh? Okay, we'll go red, 34 dive on one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Boom! That... Damn it. <laughs> Forgot to mention, I nominated you for Homecoming Princess. <laughs> oh, you what? Homecoming Princess, I nominated you. <laughs> oh. By now, you're all familiar with the Grizzlies girl quarterback. Well, now her classmates at Minville High have nominated her for homecoming princess. Oh, 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 hey. You can see they're training hard for this arm. Arm. What an arm. The No matter the outcome, the Minville Grizzlies will have a season to remember with quarterback. And what about the rumor that B.J. Kane, their all-state center, is running for Miss Oregon? Miss the Tammy, if you're gonna run for homecoming princess, you'll need a beautiful gown and stuff. Oh yeah, I bet they cost a lot of money. Uh, let's talk about it later, okay? Female quarterback. What an interesting situation. The coaches are very high on her. She's got great energy. The kids are all behind her. May I help you? Uh, okay. Um, we're looking for a, a like a, a formal. Fine. And who would this be for? Oh, friend of ours. Yeah. I see. Would you know the size? Oh, she comes up, up to about here on me. Um, oh, the program says she's uh, five, six, 120 pounds, yeah. and she's uh, um, built. Come on, man, built? Isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's built. Oh. Well, this is the girl that plays football over at the high school. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's absolutely marvelous what she's doing. Just marvelous. Uh -huh. Right, right. And you know she's running for homecoming princess. So we took up a collection to buy her a nice dress. Oh, you're her playmates. Teammates. Yeah, teammates. <laughs> teammates. Teammates. Yes. Now, how much were you prepared to spend? Um, we have almost uh, $125. Oh, well, I'm sure that we can find something absolutely sensational for that. Uh, why don't you just follow me, boys? 
Why don't you take a look at these gowns over here, and I'll be in the back for just a moment. <laughs> hey, cut it out. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think this would be perfect for her. Can we have that for? One hundred and twenty-five dollars. Hey, all right. Thanks, hon. Yep. Bye. Bye. Morning, Mr. Klosterman. Have a nice day, Mr. Klosterman. Keep smiling, Mr. Klosterman. Thank you very much, Mr. Klosterman. I'll keep smiling, too. Oh, maybe you could stop by for a cup of coffee after Mrs. Mrs. Maida. Do you have time for a cup of coffee? Uh, sure. Me better after her accident. What? She, um, she wants so badly to play that she acts like she is. We can't even keep her away from practice. Oh. Well, I do hope she'll be all right. You know, I never kept up with sports before you folks moved in. But now, seeing her on TV all the time makes it very interesting. And she always conducts herself like a perfect lady. Oh, I, I don't mean just on TV. We see her around the house, too, all your daughters. You must be very proud. I am. Uh, none of us around here knew quite what to expect when we first heard who was moving into the Hobart place, so we were all pretty cool. I don't need to tell you that. No. No. Uh, but now, even Mr. Klosterman was just speaking how pleased he is to have you folks in the neighborhood. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Oh, you know, men, sometimes they strike first impressions about people and then they change their minds, but, but they can never seem to... Uh, find a way to admit it. Some men are so stubborn, they can't come right out and admit it when they're wrong. Say, uh, I'm sorry. You know, I almost forgot. I've got a coffee ring warming in the oven. It's an old family recipe, and I'd hoped you'd like it.
trying it on? Yeah. They won't let us in to see. But the dress is no good? Well, oh, it's great. This bonehead mouthed off. I sense she looks a little effeminate. <laughs> she's glad the Hawks won't see her looking like that. Why not? She's, she's like a whole other person. Like who? Like a woman. Well, I'm gonna be there. You can't be there. No. <laughs> hey, Tammy, we voted for you. Thanks. Stop <laughs> looking like that. I'm not winning. I'm You're not so gonna... cynical. I'm not gonna. Tammy. Oh. Tammy, I just wanted to wish you well in the election. May the best man win. Thank you, Tiffany. No hard feelings. You and I haven't been real close, have we? No, and I regret that. Sincerely. Desperately. I've kind of enjoyed it. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Stop. Don't laugh right there. It makes it worse. Says he doesn't intend to use her, so there's nothing to worry about. Maybe. Tammy, how you doing? Okay, we go. Tammy. Yeah. We don't want you getting hurt. I won't. I promise. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Be careful. Good luck, girls. Keep your knickers dry. Grizzlies take over on the fumble at their own 20 yard line. play can break this game open, so no mistakes. Now, you've played a great season. Now, give it all you got. This is a game tonight you'll never forget. Now, I'm proud of all you guys. Now, go out there with that pride that each one of you have and do your very best. Right on the hit. Hit! Pride! Hit! Pride! Hit! Pride! Coach, give me one shot. Now, go on in, Maida. You could have bought a ticket for this one. This game. So let's go. Let's concentrate. Execute. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's fight. Four dive, get in there. Hmm? Get in there! Come on, Laylock! Stop Marvin. Laylock, now a quarterback for the Grizzlies. Get in there. 
basic handoffs, no heroics, all right? Come on, Maida. Come on, Maida. Number 10, Tammy Maida replaces Playlaw at quarterback. Come on. One minute 40 remaining in the game. Okay, guys, listen up. Hey, we're going lemon 36 dive on one. Okay, on one. Centers, ready? Red special on ones. Everybody know what they're doing? You got it? Yeah. Okay, on one. Setters? Ready? Come on, Travis! Black! 44! next year you're gonna be here and I'm gonna be in Canada well, we still got till June right yeah and after that whatever happens will happen I just I want you to know that I'm I'm gonna think about this time in my life I'm gonna think about you I'm going to remember. And the winner is Miss Tammy Maida. Two Maida. 
Pod, it's you! from the team, so you remember us when you're in Canada with the moose. I'll miss your hands, mate. Um, I guess that uh, most of you know that I'm, I'm not going to be here next year. Thank the team very much. And um, just say that I'm going to miss you all a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 